to look at these beams. And um, in the model, I, I did this swooped end, but a person could go in and change these components simply enough to make a different sort of beam with an angle on the end instead. And I guess I'll walk through a few steps to do that. So I'm just going to move and control these beams. I'm going to move a setup 10 feet. That gives us a set to work with. I can edit these. I'm going to select three of them and delete them. And then this one I'm going to explode it and make it a component. I'm going to call it angled support beam. We'll create that. And then let's just do a, we'll jump in here to component edit mode. And we're just going to take, let's see, let's take one of these lines and move it. Move it and copy it 10 inches. Copy it again. Move it up 10 inches. Then we'll take our protractor. Let's go 30 degrees just because we can. Continue this line down a little more. There we go. So we just put a end on here. Give it a little different shape. Select this line and delete it. Delete the guidelines. And let's see, let's put a mark just for grins from here. Let's say 20 inches. Okay, so we'll take this part of the geometry that we made, slide it over here. Okay, then take the push pull tool. Delete this away, and then we know that we need to. We want to move this geometry 20 inches. So all we're doing is changing the component here, and we're going to take all this stuff, move it, and copy it, slide it down here. While it's still selected, I can. Take the scale tool and the handle I want is inside the beam, but I think if I grab here, yeah, it grabbed it. Scale it. And then let's just delete this stuff. Oh, I'm just gonna take this Just move it down to the end of the beam so that gives us the same length. Uh, let's go ahead and move this. Move control, just move this one over here. Select those two, move and control. We'll just move a pair to the back. So all those are in a group. We're going to select that group, and while this is selected, we'll right-click, go to Entity Information, and drop those into Angled Support Beam Layer. So then we can click those angled support beams on and off. So then, with with those steps, we can switch these beams out and go from an angled style, and then quickly show what a OG style looks like. If a person would go through the gears and make up. Uh, the angle and OG support or joists here and any other shape configurations those can be modified pretty simply by taking the existing geometry modifying it and then putting it on a separate layer for comparison purposes mm -hmm.